Hey y'all and welcome back to another video about Ember's Darkness. In today's video, you guys, there's a couple of things we want to touch on. First, we want to touch on the update. I didn't really do a reaction to the update, so we're just going to go over the brief highlights and the new ant that was added into the game. And then, uh, the last thing we're going to talk about is the degen, uh, shells or whatever you want to call them, the degen item, and what that spoils based off of the official Instagram and what they posted. So uh, with that, you guys, let's get into it. So first off, uh, the biggest thing that came out of this update is that the uh, Duel of the Queens doesn't restart rank. I'm going to be honest, you guys, this is super awesome to me. I love this. Uh, I hated redoing the grind. Um, I didn't do it perfect. I should have gotten to gold one today, but... You know, life happens. Uh, two out of gold one, I believe. But if they were willing to listen to the player base is a positive step in the uh, right direction for the game. And it's really, really rewarding to not have to worry about all of this stuff anymore. And just be able to go gold two, gold one, and start grinding the Duel of the Glory as well. Uh, and the fact that the um, seasons were so fast to split around and they expanded it to top 100 i believe uh just yeah top 100 over top 50 just huge quality of life improvements super happy super ecstatic uh i'm i'm really really proud of ants for paying attention and caring about the free-to-play player base because that's what it does in my opinion um the other thing from the update that came out was of course ghost uh, I only know of his skill too. I don't know of the rest of the skill, so we're going to look at that. Um, the, re the number one reason that I didn't do a reaction video and I was kind of hoping would happen is I was hoping that the St. Patrick's Day would get a event where Ghost was released with a special new carrier ant insect. Uh, kind of like how Parada was released with a guardian ant insect. Um, but... It didn't happen today, and I've been asked about this video a few times. So, we're just going to go with it, you know. Um, we're going to talk about Ghost Ant, and uh, maybe they're going to do a St. Patrick's Day event. Maybe they're not. Uh, it is technically St. Patrick's Day at UTC right now. So, yeah. Happy St. Patrick's Day, in case I don't make a video tomorrow. So, anyways, uh, Ghost Ant. So, skill one. Okay, great. It does the exact same thing as all the other skills. Um, skill 3, let's see, 38%. So 38% is the same as Parada, hopefully. Oh, no. Thir uh, Parada's 35, so it's slightly better in the defense. What about the attack? Oh, I looked at attack. Uh, defense. Defense is also 38. Wow. Okay. Um, so it's better than Parada. Uh, better than White Velvet. Brown Rogue. Dark Herc. These are the Fragments. 38. So it's the same as, like, the Fragment Ants. Wow. Uh, and Rock Band Ant, the new Ants. Okay, so... That's kind of surprising that it's better, um... Maybe it's not a $250 ant. Maybe it's, uh, maybe it's a fragment ant. I don't think so, though. I think it's a $250 ant. Um, so, that's cool. Uh, and then skill 6. Uh, it's god carry plus 18% defense. Defense is the least important stat in the game, so sure. Uh, does the same thing. And then 20% combat speed. That's cool, not really important. Duels doesn't use combat sc speed at all. And Shikari Master does 60 uh, combat speed, so it's like underwhelming. Maybe it's on par with New World General. New World General is even better. So the one of the oldest ants, New World General, is better than the 20 combat speed, which is fine because of its skill too. But yeah, so with that uh, skill, or sorry, skill seven. Health, that's huge. Carry and health, 15%. All right, I love health. All right, so this is insane. During battles, the additional damage of the enemy's skills that will be dealt to all of our carrier squads can be reduced by 
And assuming no stars, 20%, there will be an 80% chance to gain the wake effect, which can immune one time of crowd control, silence, disarming, suppression, confusing, which there's nothing in the game that gives confusing, so kind of like a spoiler uh, that there's going to be something with confusing, and last till the end of battle. Um, so can one time of crowd control and last till the end of battle? I don't understand what the in last till end of battle is. Uh, they do word things very differently, uh, and that's probably a translation mistake, but this is really insane. And at two star, which this ant is going to have to be two starred, it goes to a hundred percent. Um, so, you know, there's, it'll be reduced by 25% and then a hundred percent. So it's reducing damage, not attack damage, which is important. And it's gaining an immune effect. I think this will shake, shape up the meta for those that get ghost ant. Um, but I assume that Ghost Ant is going to be the same price as Parada, same price as Golden Velvet, same, uh, sorry, White Velvet, same price as Brown Rogue, which is $500 unless you do one ant per event, then it can get as low as $250. My Discord kind of tries to show you the same day that an event starts the cheapest way to get one of the top rewards. Uh, and the new insect will be released at the same time. I'm going to be honest, uh, with what I know and what we're about to talk about, uh, the amount of money required in order to fully star this is a lot. Uh, the amount of money to one star or to two star this is still $750 and you have to hope that they do three events where this ant is given out, which Proata's was only two events if I recall properly, maybe even only one event maybe three events, but I don't think so. I think it was only two. So that kind of like makes, makes it hard, uh, because in order to space it out for like a light spender of $250 each time, it's yeah. All right. Uh, so like skills, great. You have to get two copies. That's a thousand dollars. Assuming this is a $500 ant, or you have to hope that two events happen. And it's a $500 ant with, uh, to get skill six and then ghost strike is 50 percent chance to deal 300 percent damage uh adds an extra three percent for every level to enemies backline increasing their skill damage received for 30 percent for one around that's insane that's a great move especially since ghost ants definitely going to be like a front row type of ant um I imagine that Ghost Ant's going to be running the same way that Banshee Panda is ran for shooters, which is Banshee Panda, Giant Tooth, Shikari Master, or sorry, Reap Master. I assume that this is going to be Banshee Panda, or sorry, Ghost Ant, uh, Giant Tooth, Shikari Master. Uh, and it goes up to 60%, sure, whatever. Um, especially if this will take another copy to unlock, uh, to unlock five star, it takes another copy. And then skill eight. Uh, leading carrier ants, it has an 80% chance to deal 125% damage, uh, an additional 0.5% per level, which will be level 50 for this, uh, so 25% more damage, to two random enemy squads and steal 30% attack of the target, which lasts for two rounds, that's, that's a whole lot, that's impressive, and it's range is 5, so it'll hit everyone all the time, and it's 80% chance, that's insane. This ant seems insane. It seems too good to be true. Banshee Panda felt the same way. Um, and things changed about it, right? And we had a shadow nerf of Banshee Panda. So I don't see a shadow nerf. Like, you can't shadow nerf how this uh, ability affects or works. But m maybe, I don't know. This ant seems really good. And for a serious carrier player, it's going to be a must-have. Especially the two-star. Um you know that being said i don't see myself personally buying it i mean if someone <laughs> someone wants to donate the money for me to get it i'd love you forever give you a huge shout out i guess but i personally i uh, do not see myself buying this ant uh i struggle to see myself buying the insect too not because the insect won't be worth it uh it's going to technically be better than scorpion uh but because my 
my interest in the game has started to wane. Uh, so I don't want to invest, you know, five hundred dollars, a thousand dollars into an ant, and end up not playing with it. But this ant looks cool, you know. And if some uh, sugar daddy wants me to have it, you know, love you forever and always, I guess. <laughs> just, just kidding. Don't actually give me money. That'd be weird. But uh, other than that, you guys, the other thing that I really want to talk about is what was spoiled on Instagram. So this was spoiled on Instagram. Uh, it's going over the degenerate shells. Um, the degenerate shells seem pretty worthwhile. It takes 22 degenerate shells to go from eight star down to zero star. But what it's really important is that it spoils that it takes four copies of golden armor to get to eight star. Um, of note, as you can see, it's still level 50, uh, and it get the degenerate shell will, as we can see, the degenerate shell will be able to keep the skills unlocked and the ant at level 50. So in order to star up an ant, you just have to have all 10 skills on, or all eight skills unlocked. So it's not saying that you're going to magically have all the skills maxed level 50. You'll have the same investment of every skill that it was before you started starring it up. Um, which, you know, is interesting. Uh, I assume it still gives only 44,000 spores. Um, but again, the important part here is four shells. So that $250 ant, which is $500 in order to get two copies and, you know... Uh, just became a $1,500 ant, even the cheapest way possible. The golden velvet, or sorry, the golden venom that we uh, thought was only a $500 ant just became a $600 ant. Not to mention the 147 exotic shells they have to invest into it and the 34 generic orange shells. And again, this is from the official The Ants Underground Kingdom Instagram. This is not speculation. This is not uh, me just guessing. This is. Uh, the official ants underground Instagram huge smout out shout out to smudge K smudgy K uh, In my discord for bringing it up uh, Lost brought it up to me, but smudge K posted it first good shout out to lost for also being an honest person um, That's pretty huge. I could have just totally given the credit to lost and never known any different so uh, Thank you guys both of you for bringing it up to me, showing me, um, yeah. With that, you guys, we did reach 3,400 subscribers on my YouTube. Thank you very much for all the love and support. So we're gonna go ahead and do the do the giveaway. Uh, it's gonna be Ghost Ant, exactly as you see written on screen, and of course, there'll be a link in the description. Remember, you must be a subscriber beforehand. Uh, so again, it's gonna be Ghost Ant right there. All right, you guys, this is going to be a little bit longer of an outro than normally. I posted this on my Discord um, beforehand already just to, like, share the written version. It's in the announcements if you guys care. Um, but a common question that I get asked is, what does your ending statement of stay humble, stay happy, stay hungry mean? And I thought that I'd put it into words. Um... I know it's not perfect. I know it's not exactly the way that I probably see it in my head, uh, but it's the best way that I can relay it to other people without using a million words, right? So here you guys go. Hey y'all, a question I commonly get asked is, why do you end your videos with stay humble, stay happy, stay hungry? And what does it mean? Well, the first part is stay humble. This one is a reminder to keep all perspectives in mind that just because you may be an R4 an R5 or the biggest whale on the server or even maybe a content creator the new guy's opinion is just as valid you need to keep your head in check and grow and develop as a person rather a shack on the rocks than a castle in the sand let's look at the second part stay happy this doesn't mean that all other emotions are invalid people have those or that you can't have them. It's just a reminder that the goal of this game is to create joy. Not another job, not a high school food court, but a way to de-stress from the pressures of work. If this game 
if the food you're eating, if your job you're working isn't creating joy in your life more than it's creating negative emotions, honestly and truly, consider a change. The most important thing at the end of the day is to go to bed happy, not stressed, not angry, etc. The last part, stay hungry, is probably the most asked about part. And this is to stay hungry for change, to stay hungry for knowledge. You should constantly strive as a person to become a better person, a smarter person. Be that going to the gym, learning a new trait, mastering the six block jump in Minecraft, whatever it is. To be stuck in place, to not progress as a person, is to accept deterioration as a person and as an independent thinker. A blade that is never used, never sharpened, will eventually become dull over time. Thank you to those that reached the end of this. I hope that I caused change in at least one person's life. Until next time, y'all, stay humble, stay happy, and stay hungry. Again, that's posted in my Discord. Uh, I think it's important that people continue as a person to do those things. Y'all, you can catch me in the YouTube comments. I try to stay pretty active there. Or you can find me on Discord. Uh, I haven't been as active on Discord, not because I don't want to be, but because I've been trying to prioritize my family a little bit more. Or, worst case scenario, like I always say, you can catch me on server 193. Until next time, you guys, stay humble, stay happy, stay hungry. Bye, y'all.